silly. Alright, I need to do a head count. How many people are playing? One. Good choice. Table for one, right this way. I need your name first. See an icon you like? Pick it. Okay, your buzzer's gonna be the letter B. Once we finish head rush, we probably could put I I gotta find the game first, uh, Phoebe, but uh I wouldn't right. mind doing uh, slip, uh, I can't let you on the bus with louder, that, faster, uh, funnier. Here, my friend, is the dealio. Question comes up, you buzz in, then you hit a one, two, three, or four to pick your answer. Pretty darn easy. Ain't <laughs> enough of my yakking. It's head rush time. Category, please. <laughs> This bad boy is shoes that let your feet air out. Phew. Get it right. I'm handing over 20K. Okay, now you know how Michael Jordan's Nike shoes are called Air Jordans, right? Yeah. If Air Jordans were really made of air, which of these would not be part of them? An oxygen swoosh, nitrogen laces, calcium soles, or a carbon dioxide? I believe that would be calcium. Oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide are all parts of the air we breathe. Calcium ain't there. If they did have calcium soles, they'd have to change their name to Milk Jordans, and then the team would be like the Chicago Cows. They probably still win a lot, okay. though. Okay, pick a category. Speaking of milk. This one's called... Mmm... Pie. Looks like this one's going for 10,000 bucks. Heads up, here it comes. If Homer Simpson enters a humble pie eating contest, what will he have to do to win? Admit he made a mistake, become really jealous, make an insensitive comment, or tell everyone how great he is. You have to admit he messed up. Excellent. <laughs> You're said to eat humble pie when you admit you made a mistake. Mmm, pie. Nope, oh, sorry. All righty, pick one. Whoa, someone just got themselves a dis or dad. Okay. This dis or dad's category name is... One day. Dude, humor man rocks. Okay, I'm going to read off seven different thingamabobs. And for each one, I want you to tell me if... Yep, it's a ben there's Jerry's a chance. ice cream flavor or a musical group. As each one comes up, if it's a Ben and Jerry's flavor, press one. Yeah, I understand that. Musician, press two. And press four to skip. I give you 5,000 bucks for each right answer, and you lose 5,000 for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, let's see that timer. And we're off. Holy cannoli! Ice cream flavor or bacon? That's an ice cream. Milly Vanilli! Uh, Ben? Wavy Gravy! Uh, ice cream? Chubby Hobby! Ice cream! Chunky Monkey! Ice cream. Boingo, boingo. Bad. One more. Banana ram. Bad. That's all she wrote. You rock. You rock. You rock. Let's check out your score. No oh, banana right. for you. The office. All right, let's move on. Okay, I need a category. This baby is the Founding Fathers Glam It Up. This one can get you 10 grand. You know, nowadays it seems like everybody's on a book signing tour. If you go to a bookstore for an author's signing of the Declaration of Independence, what will the author write on your copy? Best wishes, Benjamin Franklin. To my biggest fan, George Washington. With love, Thomas Jefferson. Or, peace, John Hancock. I think that would be Jefferson. The Declaration of Independence was written by Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, and maybe if you're lucky, you can get him to sign that crappy sequel of his, the $2 bill. That sucked. I need a category. And 
And here we have, you can use your fingers for this one, and you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Eyes up front, we're moving. Which of these equals three? Original members of Boys to Men, Killers and Scream, Arnold Kids on the Wonder Years, or Original Power Rangers? That would be the Arnold Kids from Wonder Years. There's Karen, Wayne, and Kevin. Three kids, just like every TV family has. No, seriously, think about it. The Simpsons, Home Improvement, Major Dad, Boy Meets World, Dinosaurs, Roseanne, Full House, the list goes on. I mean, try to think of a major TV family that doesn't have three kids. You can't. It and I, okay. And I believe this one's called Someone to Wipe the Floor With. 10,000 bucks riding on this one. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If the Los Angeles Lakers draft one of the Great Lakes to play for them, what will basketball fans see during a game? Michigan talking trash, Caspian arguing a call with the ref, Niagara whining about a leg cramp, or Great Salt missing an easy layup. Happy Michigan. Lake Michigan is one of the five Great Lakes. And if you've ever gone swimming in Lake Michigan, you'll understand why Michigan can only talk trash. All righty, pick one. Here she is, giving the government a bad rap. How does $20,000 sound? Think fast. Suppose the producers of In the House change the name of the show to In the House of Representatives. What will you most likely see on the next episode? Tiffany vetoing Marion's homework, Tonya revoking Max's freedom of speech, Max making all the rules, or Marion declaring war on the sports clinic? That'd be making the rules. The House of Representatives is the part of the U.S. government responsible for making new laws. You know, I think I'm going to write my state representative and ask for a law that bans LL Cool J from ever making another TV show. Uh, you're a little bit late on that. Okay, I need a category. NCIS LA. Headbutt, woo! Headbutt, woo! Headbutt, woo! H-E-A-D-B-U-T-T-H-E-A-D-B-U-T-T -T -T. Headbutt. Take a look at your headbutt category. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Let's get the ball rolling at 50K for this headbutt question. Wanna know how to headbutt? All right, you're gonna see an equation like this. All you gotta do is figure out yeah, the parts and I add gotcha. them together. Let's see here. Paid Adam pro, is pro. Littlest Zach. Is Zach. Add them up. Pro Zach. Pretty simple, huh? And so All right, worse. now you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this, but every second and a half, I'm taking away some cash. All righty then. What does this equation add up to? Evidence plus fewer. Less. Okay, first hint. Sherlock Holmes looks for the... Oh, got it. Go for it. Type in your answer. Yeah, that'd be clueless. You know, I hear on the final episode this season, everyone on Clueless actually gets a clue. And then, well, it's all over. Yeah. That I seems about that. right. Yeah, it's definitely not looking like we're getting them. Coming at you. I Borg your pardon? 10,000 beanies if you get this one. All right, now we've all seen that Borg cube on Star Trek The Next Generation, right? Ooh, scary. How would you calculate the volume of the Borg cube? Borg length times Borg length, Borg length times three, Borg length times Borg length times Borg length, or Borg length plus Borg length? I think it would be Borg number three. The volume of a cube is the length of one side cubed, or multiplied by itself twice. Which is good to know if you want to build an instrument of destruction and world domination. Well, glad I can help. Always comes in handy. Open wide and get ready for Ain't Such a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. 20,000 bucks says you don't know this one. Hey, you remember Mr. McFeely, the speedy delivery guy in Mr. Rogers' sure. Neighborhood? Speedy Who doesn't? Delivery. Well... 
If Mr. McFeely delivers chain mail to everyone in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, what will you see on the next show? Yeah, Lady I, I could, in I could play. deal Mr. with Rogers that not ever up showing up again. King Friday sending 20 good luck letters or Chef Brockett handcuffing himself to a cake. That would be number three. No, you're probably thinking of a chain letter. Now, if you go tell oh. 10 of your friends what a loser you are, it'll bring you good luck. Yeah, uh, chain mail. That's this. armor. Chain mail is a kind of armor that knights used to wear. It looks like a bunch of small chain links. Ah, tis quite a beautiful day in thy neighborhood. <laughs> All righty, pick one. We'll be right back to the game after this. All right, we're getting a commercial. Es el plátano con el paraguas. Hasta luego, paraguas. Oh oh, King Kong está aquí y King Kong le gustan los plátanos. Pobre plátano. All right. Plátano's okay. Time for the head rush. Keep your eyes glued to the screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. If you're right, you got 5,000 bucks coming your way. But if you're wrong, you owe me 5,000. Oh, don't forget. Remember the clue! Your match better fit this clue. A royal pain in the butt. Hey, finally, a question about you. Good luck. <laughs> That'd be Burger King. Ah, uh, princess. Ah, uh, queen. Spaghetti. Never heard of that one. And that's Count Chocula. Duke. Duke Nukem. Okay. Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, as long as you get to play with yourself. Now, uh, get away from the computer and go make some friends, will you? Bye-bye! Okay. All right, that's a wrap, everybody. Hi, Abe. Uh, Baby Diva, what's going on with the players? Wow, you made it all the way to the high scoreboard by pushing some poor slob out of there. I was kind of saving that for like a little mid-afternoon snack. Is, is it bothering you? Should I take it off? Here's what my mother would call Jamburka. Uh. Uh. I swear to God, whenever she speaks, it's like fingernails on my face. No, on the chalkboard. Was your face made out of chalkboard? Uh, I put a little makeup on this morning. You're breaking out big time. Hey. Hey, I don't swim in your pool, so please don't pee in my toilet. Next time on Maybe? Dobson Swamp. I don't understand it. Just last year, everything was so simple. No pubic hair, no urge to rebel against my sex-crazed parents. Suddenly, everything's changed. I guess being a teenager really is going to be one big challenge. But that's okay, Dobson. As long as we keep up these overly self-aware discussions of our blossoming sexuality, we'll be just fine. And just think, even though you're a giant loser, everyone at school treats you like a king because that's just how life really works. Puberty. It's a magical time in our lives that we'll never forget. Boy, we sure do talk like teenagers, don't we? We sure do. All right, um, that concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack Head Rush. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. 
subscribe and spread the word. This is Tickets Please Gaming, and that arcade is now 